Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Sarah. Um, this is my YouTube channel, uh, Floss Tube, dedicated to cross stitch. Um, I go by Lady Lugani here on um, YouTube and Sarah Van Wy on Instagram. If you are new, welcome and thanks for spending some time with me. And if you are a returning viewer, thanks for coming back and hanging out. Um, today is a little bit different than usual. It's been a little bit of time well, maybe two months, a little less than two months since I last saw you. Um, and sadly, I have had next to no stitching. I kind of lost my stitchy bug in August, um, and we were very, very busy. Uh, and I'm in my last semester, fingers crossed, last semester of my doctoral program. And so um, finishing everything has been a little crazy. Um, so I'm hopeful to graduate and be done with all of that by December. And then I'll have a lot more time to cross stitch. But I have gotten some stitching done. So instead of a typical approach, since I've basically worked on one project, um, I thought I would do kind of a, a mini autumnal and mini sampler overview. So I have um, samplers that are whips, samplers that are samplers, samplers that are kitted, um, autumn projects that are whips and kitted and then Halloween projects that are whips and kitted that I was going to go through. Um, I have a, a giveaway to go over and um, a couple of stitchy kindness and one piece of haul. So let's see where to start. Let me start with stitchy kindness. Um, so if you do not follow Patricia Douglas on Instagram, you should. <laughs> I am going to link her um, Instagram below. It is um, her stitching is beautiful. Um, not only is her stitching beautiful, she's a very generous person. And she knows that I love bears. If you haven't heard me talk about bears in the past, I collect them at antique shops. They're all over the house. Um, you can see this one little, little guy here. He is um, actually a Westie uh, from, we, we named him, actually my husband, ironically named him Flossie. He likes the word flossy. The flossy cowboy named the Westy flossy. <laughs> but um, he is a 1920s, 1920s or 1930s handmade Westy. And so, but she knows I love bears. And so she sent me a beautiful, beautiful package. And in said package was a theme, a bear theme. Um, I'm not going to show you everything. I'm just going to show you a couple of the highlights because all of this stuff is already displayed around the house. I have several up on my fireplace mantle over here. But this lovely, lovely book sits back here with Flossie. Um, it's Teddy Bears by Beth Van Hosen, and it's about bears that, um, the story of different bears that she found. And look at, look at that one. It's so cute. And she, all of the art, um, creating artist rendition of uh, meaningful bears. Oh, look at this one, <laughs> Nancy's bear. I didn't see this one when I first looked through the book. How cute is he? Mm. So that is beautiful, and it, I enjoy it. Um, ooh, I almost, ooh, earthquake! I almost knocked over my water bottle. That could have been a problem. <laughs> Luckily, there's no stitching over there. But then she sent me this little guy, too. He's so cute. He's kind of got a grumpy face, and I love it. Totally here for that little grump face. <laughs> so he sits on my chair with the other bears. And she made me a beautiful cross-stitch bag. Oh, look at this. Isn't it lovely? It's so perfect. I love, it's like, it's a unique size and a unique shape and I, I really like this um, the shape of this particular bag it's got little butterflies on it it's beautiful and then the interior fabric is absolutely stunning look at those little butterflies it's very well made I'm very impressed and it has a little little owl charm on it which is apropos because it's housing my 100 owls um, from, well, what's the word? Owl forest embroidery. But, so that is a beautiful project bag. 
So thank you so much, Patricia. And I love it. Um, so let me link her below. Go check her out. It's fantastic. And that brings me to my second uh, piece of Stitchy Kindness, which kind of goes into the um, round robin. So Erica, Fibers and Floss Canada, she passed along Samantha's stitching so that I could work on it. And I got it um, mid to late August. But inside, she included this beautiful project bag that she made. Also a unique size and a unique shape, and I love it. Um, with her little tag. I love this too. Um, and she just has, Erica has just, she decorated the box all hand decorated with um, beautiful artwork. She just has such a unique way of putting things together to make it extra special. Um, and little S, S for Sarah, little pink purple butterfly, if I can get it out so you can see it, little tassel. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. And then the green fabric on the inside. And you can see it's sturdy. I just, beautiful. And this is Teresa Kogut fabric. Um, I love Teresa Kogut. I just, it's just so lovely. So thank you. You guys are so generous. This community is just so generous. I can't, I can't get over it. Um, and um, as noted, she sent me um, Samantha stitching. So that's basically all I worked on. <laughs> Uh, I got four days in August. Sadly, it was four days in August um, when I started school, but that is okay because I'm grateful for any of the stitching time I, I get. Uh, if you have not seen this, this is um, Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Samplings. Most people have seen this. Um, it's a very popular chart. It's a lot of stitching. Let me tell you, each box is 92 by 92. So when Samantha sent it to Erica, she had finished this block, this block, and this block, and had started this one. Erica finished this one and then outlined all the blocks, all of them. And then she started working on this full coverage block. And I have a picture, it's sideways though. Um, so let me, um, pull it up and see if you can see it. Kind of. So you can see there. Ooh, my, my floor. There we go. But she had come down and she gotten most of the boat done. Um, she had started, got all the top water done, had started the mermaid. Um, and so my goal is to finish that block before I send it back. And this is where I am. First of all, let me just put all of it on display so you can see the gloriousness of it all. Because it is absolutely beautiful. It would be helpful if I held it the right direction though, wouldn't it? And I should warn you, my husband may come in at any point, so we may be interrupted. And as you know, I don't know how to edit, and so therefore, it will remain in the video. <laughs> so this is where it is currently, in totality. Look at that. Mm, so good. And so this is Samantha stitching. Block two. Block three, Erica and Samantha's stitching combined. And then this is going to be me and Erica stitching. My Erica and my stitching together here. And they are stitching this in hand. I am stitching it on a Q-snap because I am not skilled enough to stitch in hand on someone else's project and not cause a problem. But I have, I did this little fishy and I started carrying the water down. I finished the mermaid. I put in the sails. 
I put in the rest of the boat and started bringing the water down, um, this darker water, as well as the, um, what's that word, treasure chest. And so I did the math. This is a full coverage block, this one here. And so 92 by 92, minus this part up here, this is not full coverage but it is about 8,000 stitches. I was actually 8,400 stitches, so arguably it's probably about 8,000 stitches in here total. Um, and so I think that would be great to get the whole block done um, before I send it back to her. And I'm hoping to get it done by early October and off into the mail. Oh, look at that. Mm. So good, so, so, so good. Um, and off into the mail so that she can enjoy it in the month of October for Halloween because this is an apropos piece for Halloween. Which brings me to my only other stitching, which is the same project. The Flossy Cowboy strikes again on this one too. So I pull this out and I'm, I'm looking at it, I'm working on it, it's beautiful, I just can't get over it. Um, oh, side note, check out this adorable bag it's in. Yeek, so cute. Um, I'm like, I just can't get over it. It's so beautiful. I'm showing it to Mike and he goes, well, do you have that pattern? And I was like, yeah. He goes, do you have that pattern kitted? I go, yeah. He goes, well, you really should start it. That's a cool pattern. And I was like, oh, that's the only, all the excuse I need. <laughs> and so um, I worked on this for two days. And so um, before I continue working on this more though, I'm going to finish her block so that it takes precedence. Um, but I'm stitching mine on 46 count and the, um, here it is. It is living in a Little Bow 88 bag made from Teresa Kogut fabric. Look at that, isn't that pretty? And as you can see, I've got the Vicki Clayton silks in here. But instead of a black exterior or black borders, I'm using Acorn Woods by Silk and Colors. And this was at the recommendation of Sherry from Share Bear Stitcher. And um, she is stitching hers on 36 count, two over two with silk as well and using this as her border. Because look at that, look at, look at that color, those greens. It's just so warm and beautiful. Oh, isn't that good? Isn't that just scream autumn to you? It makes me want to do all of these um, patterns now with a variegated floss in the border. Could you imagine like shorts of Hawkrun Hollow if you could find a really cool, beautiful blue one that had different shades in it? Oh, wow, look at that. So good. And so I stitched this on 46 count honey by Bestitch Me. And that is where I got to on mine. So you can kind of see, I don't know if it's focusing, is it too close? There we go, the variegation in that border. And so, and I started in the, this is bottom left corner. Um, and so I will put this away until I get hers done, but I think it would be really cool to get the first block done and so see and see what it looks like uh, next to hers and the different sizes, the different shapes, the different flosses and fibers. It's just, it's going to be beautiful. Um, so, and I use a number 10 beading needle when I stitch on 46 count. So, and that is all the stitching I've done <laughs> since I last saw you. <laughs> and so, because of that, we will sidetrack ourselves here a little bit. And let me put this away. And what I think I'll do is I'll start with samplers. And I'll do samplers that are whips, samplers that are kitted, and follow it by autumn stuff that I consider autumn stitching that are whips, then kitted, then Halloween 
whips and then kitted. Although I was considering holding off on Halloween until October, but we'll see how long the video is. And they have fallen and I can't reach them. Ooh. Okay. Number one is, oh, you probably couldn't hear me. I'm sorry. Number one <laughs> is a sampler called the 2020 Pandemic Sampler. It also lives in a little boat 88 bag with little women fabric. This is also a cross stitch that I am stitching with Samantha the Huga Stitcher. Oh, excuse me. And I, this is what it's gonna look like. It is by Christy Stevenson. She is a Canadian designer. She goes by Sarsi Girl. And this is still available and it's free. And this is what it looks like. It's lovely. So I'm stitching mine one over two on 40 count doubloon by Picture This Plus. And I am using the Mrs. Seda's Silk Conversion. This is the Mrs. Mrs. Seda Silks. And not all of them. The remainder I have on the ring. Because I'm a, I'm a bag kind of girl. It's, I'm lazy. That's why. <laughs> um, but look at this. I love that she puts the DMC and the symbol on there. So it's just easy to work with. And this is where I am. I think last time you saw this, I may have um, only had a little bit of the house done, but I finished the outline maybe in July. Um, July, June, I don't know. Um, but and I was working on filling it in. And I also realized I'm missing whatever little bird that is right there. I'm missing his little sister, his little partner. So, and this is toned to match my mama and toned to match Mike's mama. And so and that is where I am love to get this house done so that's an option for september sampler september Ooh, accent accent came right out on that one <laughs> sam sep, bleh, sampler september um so that's number one sampler whip okay and then number two oh, is in this beautiful bag this might be I think this is an Olivia B bag, maybe. Um, but it is Vanity Sampler by Hello from Liz Matthews. This is what it will look like. Many of you are very familiar with this one as well. This is um, being stitched by many people. Many people have used the conversion that Cam the Stitcher created, which is kind of like a gothic pink um, tonal piece. It's beautiful. Um, she and Bridgen, the museum stitcher, are stitching this now. So that's this one. But this is the color palette that I'm using. I'm using the called for DMC. Beautiful. And I'm stitching it um, two over two on 36 count affogato. And that is where I am on it. This one's really fun to stitch on. You kind of get in a groove and you don't want to put it down. Um, so that is Vanity Sampler by Hello from Liz Matthews. Two over two on 36, Affogato by Fiber on a Whim. So that's sampler number two. And tuck this away. My dogs are curling up. It's really cute. It's oh, I keep shaking the table. It's kind of cold here today, and so it's getting to be cozy. All right, sampler number three. This was a restart. Oh, yep, yep, yep. If I pull it out, and this is in a. I don't know what bag this is. I missed. Oh, um, the Awakened Willow. It's pretty fabric. Pink inside. This is a. Um, 
pattern from Cross Stitch and Country Crafts. It is Noah's Ark. And that's what it looks like. I love the animals. They're just so cool. And I started this a long time ago and got a lot of stitching done. And realized it was on the wrong side of the printed vintage country mocha. Sadly. And so I started it over. On 18 count vintage country mocha, two over two with a called for DMC. I didn't get very far. Let me fold it back over. I forgot a board, so I don't have a there we go. This is where I am, and yet again, I decided I'm just gonna fudge it. This is the wrong color. <laughs> I was like, oh well, we're not gonna change that. But this is two over two. Vintage Country Mocha, 18 count Ada. So that is sampler number three, whip. Sad, sad little Ada with the Noah on it. So, number four. Ooh. I surprisingly don't have very many samplers going. Actually, that might be one. It was a surprise. Um, next is Dutch Beauty. This is living in a Sheba Designs bag. It's blue. It's got tulips on it. Seemed very appropriate for Dutch Beauty. Um, ooh, this is what it looks like. And you've seen this um, Erica Fibers and Floss Canada is very far. I think she's all the way across the top. And Samantha the Huga Stitcher is also um, got a good chunk and she's going to go down. Uh, it's beautiful. I love the tones and the colors of this. Look at this. Look at these colors. They're just so classic. And I'm stitching mine two over two on 36 count Tyco. Um, by picture this plus and <laughs> this fabric is enormous it's like a blanket look at this <laughs> i don't think obviously you need the whole thing but i basically got a blanket because i was like okay we're just gonna do this on 36 count because <laughs> i love the coverage of two over two on 36. And i got a teensy weensy start a baby start I love Tyco. Look how pretty Tyco is. It's kind of got this, oh, there we go. That's actually pretty good. It's kind of gray and golden at the same time. There's a little bit of modeling in it. So that was started last September for BAP to school. Um, and might come out this September. Okay. Tuck that in there. And then I think this was a sampler I didn't even realize I had, I forgot completely all that I had started it. It is Needlework Garden, Needleworks Garden Sampler. It was a limited edition by the Twin Peak Primitive um, group. Twin Peak Primitives. Um, that's pretty, isn't it? And it comes in the bag. And then this is the pattern, which is on the front. It's lovely. And I completely forgot that I started this, to be quite frank. Look, it's got floss tags. Look how cute that is. Before I knew how to cut floss for floss tags. They're all of different lengths. <laughs> no. And then the colors. Those are the rest of the colors. But where's the stitching? There it is. And I think this is two over two on 28 count with the um, the kit fabric, which I'm not sure what it is. And uh, like I said, I didn't even remember that I'd started this. How sad is that? That's pretty though. Is that the right way up? 
maybe. I think so. It's the berry bowl right smack in the center. So. Yeah. A little needle minder. So I kind of, I'm tempted to pull this one out and knock it out. Not that I can knock it out. That's actually a fairly large pattern. But um, it's beautiful. It doesn't deserve to be neglected. So that was, I think that's the last sampler whip I have. I don't have very many samplers going, believe it or not. If you don't consider five samplers going a lot. <laughs> um, the rest are kind of samplery. Um, things that I would consider kind of like a sampler that are kitted. The first one is Birds of a Feather. And this is in a Simply Norel. Doesn't this just go perfectly together? Yep. And I have the silk for that. But apparently I did not pick out a fabric. I would probably do 36 count on this one. It's not super big. Um, so that's birds of a feather. That's sampler kit number one. And if you guys are like, oh, you need to start this or this, just let me know in the comments. I'm always open to starting new projects. The next one is a, a pretty one. It's a, another limited edition by Picture Twin Peaks Primitives. Oof. Called the Winter's Butterfly. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Came with Ada. Apparently, I also ordered some other stuff. There's charcoal. Fiber on a whim, like, wow. There's all sorts of goodies in this bag. <laughs> it's like Christmas. And then this is the palette. That's beautiful. Perhaps I'll do it on the, should I do it on the black, the Ada? Or the charcoal? Mm, probably Ada. So. So that is sampler kit. Ooh. This is a big, big box. Let me see. Then I have these kitted up. These are just um, with the call for. So I have spring sampler. By Crochetta Go Go. Crochetta Go Go. I don't know how to say it. I have Autumn Sampler. That's cute. I have Winter Sampler. And like I said, call four colors. 36 count mocha, vintage country mocha, two over two. And the big bag of floss. Curious to see what her summer sampler will look like. So that's kit number, I don't know. Ugh. Oh, yes. So this one is Modern Folk Embroidery, a sampler garden. Isn't that lovely? It's kind of, I think I said it was a sampler because it's called a sampler garden. <laughs> Not your traditional sampler per se, but I think it was inspired by this piece in the back, which is beautiful and looks more like a traditional sampler. But I could be making that up, so I don't know. But I have the Roxy Flosco 
Those are beautiful, aren't they? And then, I love their linen. Look at this. This is called Panettone. Took me a minute. It's just so soft. <laughs> like really good color representation a little bit of the modeling there with these colors on it we'll see I'm not sure this light one may not show up very well but that is another option And then you saw this one in just January. I was considered starting this one for my birthday. This is uh, Louise Lallier, 1901 by Ruth de Soie. This is just amazing. Like, like absolutely everything about this is amazing. And I have all the floss. And this is 36 count platinum, or I guess 36 count, what is this? I have white and platinum. I wasn't sure which one. Tell me what you guys think, white or plat? I feel like white is a little harsh, but it would make those colors super poppy. Hmm. Tell me what you think. That one is Louise Lallier 1901. here and a lot of the kits are just in little Walmart or excuse me Amazon bags Oy. this one also is um, inspiration by Rosewood Manor it's samplery it's not super like it it matches the genre in my opinion but it's not like classic sampler isn't that beautiful and then this one is on a, what is this? 36 count. This is really pretty. Moon Edinburgh Linen. That's just really, it's like creamy and pretty. Mm. And I'm so organized, guys. <laughs> There we go. Show some of these more poppy, vibrant colors. Yeah. So, same for kit. Oy. Reach. This was one I considered starting for back to school this year. I don't know if they're being if it's being hosted again. I haven't seen much. Um, from the New Hampshire Stitcher lately, so. And this is Consider the Lilies. Everybody is very familiar with this one. By Heartstring Samplery. Also, this is 46 count um, cream. So we're doing it one over one on 46 count to make it smaller with the bag of called fours. A lot of classic color works, a lot of weak dye works. So, we'll see, I've not used cotton on 46 count yet. I've used mostly silk on 46 count. So, we'll give it a whirl. And this is in a Little Boat 88 bag. Um, makes me think of Jane Austen. It's a pretty fabric. Oh, I'm gonna break my chair, guys. This is similar to what I've said before. Gives me sampler vibes, but not exactly um, classic traditional sampler. The Comfort Stitcher is stitching this. This is Bridget Power 1840. This is the re original on the cover. So if you want to see what it looks like, um, go check out the Comfort Stitcher. Her stitching beautiful it looks beautiful and so I think I kitted this as called for with 
go in. Um, 36 count parchment linen by Weeks Dye Works with uh, called for colors. So. And then last but not least, for the samplers, I'm reaching. Oy. Oh, you can see my little coconut, she's sleeping. Mm. Um, and this is in a Nicole's Needlework bag. So pretty. Uh, this particular pattern, I keep saying this, I'm sorry. The particular pattern, I've had Owl Forest's Ever Flowering Garden kitted for a long, long time. Very long time. Probably since 2021, early 2021. Which is a long time for me because I've been stitching since 2021. <laughs> um... But this is what it looks like. It's massive. And that is one of the reasons I haven't started it. I have this beautiful 46 count Bristol linen by XJU Design. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's so soft. Oh, it's so pretty. And then, it's a mess. The called for colors. The called for floss from Owl Forest. I love this piece. I'm a little nervous to start it for some reason though. I don't know why. Maybe because I have too many giant pieces on the go. And I'm apparently drawn to pieces that will never get done because they'll all take 52 years. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? And this one here. So that is Everflower and Garden by Owl Forest Embroidery. All right, so those are all samplers, samplery. Sam it's a sampling of samplers. Um, and then next is autumn. So I consider this an autumn whip. I don't know why. I don't think it technically is, but it's Night Walked Down by the blue flower. It just makes me think of autumn. I think it's the colors. And it lives in a Little Boat 88 bag. And I'm stitching it two over two on 36 count Bramble by Picture This Plus. She looks good. And I did make some color changes. So let me pull out the, the palette here. It's a mess. A mess, a mess, a mess. I'm stitching the um, cat in the middle with coal by Weeks Dye Works, which is not called for. This guy down here. Everything else is called for. Minus, there was one green as well that was not, I don't think it either is out of production or it's it's just not, it's, it does not exist. And so look at these rich colors. I didn't realize I hadn't put this on the floss ring. It's just kind of a hot mess in there, isn't it? <laughs> I should probably do this these on a floss ring. And so the green, I think I've, I've switched out for Victoria Green by Victoria Motto. Raw iron. Here we go. Oof. Just pretty. Look at those colors for the flowers on this like purpley linen. Oh, this is a really hot mess, guys. So that is, I started this in 2022 for my birthday. Um, so I should get this done. So pretty. So that is not Night Walked Down. That's the first autumn whip. 
Next is the little o little boat eighty eight. There's a theme. This is Golden Delicious by the Artsy Housewife. Stitching it with the Roxy Floss Co conversion. And then these are the remaining fall colors. So good. And I'm stitching this on um, 32 count Rainy Day by Oak Crown Studios, which is a beautiful fabric. Apparently I just stopped right in the middle, thread attached and everything. Oh look, I'm finding needle minders. And so that is where I got to. That's a pretty apple. So fall. I think I started this, I, I must have started this last year because um, that was when Amy opened up her fabric dyeing company. Oh, let me see, I didn't bring the picture. Um, if I can find a picture, this is Joan Elliott's Geisha of Wisdom, I think. This is what it looks like. And I consider this autumnal because these are Japanese maples at the top. She's surrounded by Japanese maple leaves. And the palette is very autumnal. And this is the colors that I've used so far. I've got a lot left to go because I'm lazy and I don't finish kidding things up. I just stick it in here and go. <laughs> also in a little boat 88 bag. And stitched on it's 32 count mystery linen. And this is where I am. I really want to work on her. I keep saying that but She's pretty. So. She has a lot of back stitching. Man, she's pretty. She looks really good on camera. And you can see right through her. It's a pretty burlapy linen. Um, I think it suits her colors well. So that is Geisha of Wisdom. Maybe I'm trying to pick. So my last focus piece was, um, you know, the dinos, the alphabet. If you've been with me before, you know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to pick another one to focus on to get finished um, next year. And so that was one of the contenders. If you see any, any in here that you're like, finish that one, let me know. Also a little boat 88 bag. This is Autumn Quaker by Rosewood Manor. It's beautiful. Using the Valdani floss on the called for 28 count doubloon. This is where I am. That's pretty, isn't it? That, that fabric, it's warm. And this one has turkeys on the inside. And I have a, a lot more autumn and Halloween than I think any other season. 
except with the exception of if I just counted Mirabilia's or Fancy Ladies independently. I think I think that wins. <laughs> Speaking of Fancy Ladies, I have Queen of Autumn by Mirabilia. And the So Much to Love bag. And she is stitched on 32 count sand. But I'm going to take out her back stitching and redo it. I don't like it. I figured out a better way to do it. She looks really good though, doesn't she? And I haven't worked on this at all since the last time you've seen it. She's pretty though. Man, that she's pretty. Inspiring my stitchy bug to come back, maybe. Some of her colors. All her beads. Um, and then last whip, which will lead me to my giveaway. La I think I just froze a little bit, I'm sorry. Last whip, this will lead me to my giveaway. This lives in a Jasmine custom bag. Jasmine design custom. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and it is Teresa Kogut's Harvest Friendship. I love this piece. I think I might work on this one for Sampler September because it's samplery, but it's also autumnal. So it gives me. And I'm stitching this on 36 count Ren 2 over 2 by Picture This Plus. 36 count Ren by Picture This Plus. Look at that happy pumpkin face. Isn't she cute? Mm. The colors are just so perfect. This is a great book. Which brings me to my giveaway. So last time we did a giveaway for a copy of Harvest Friendship and a cute little grimoire needle minder to go with it. And let me pull up the name of the winner. I um, have it written down. So the word was kindred and you guys made such wonderful comments thank you for all the comments all of the um, likes all of the subscriptions um, i don't say this enough but i enjoyed reading every single one of them um, i did not comment back this past go round because life was just too busy um, but i did read every single one and they made my day and so the winner is kb at oc stitcher um, the way i do this I have not had any um, people trying to pretend to be me or anything, but if you win something, you will reach out to me. I will include my email. That way you can give me your address. Um, I will never ask for your address. I will never do anything like that on the computer on comments, um, just protect to protect yourself. So reach out to me. I'll include my email in the description box below. But this is Harvest Friendship. And so I will get this out in the mail so you have something fun to work on during the autumn season. And that was KB at OC Stitcher. So congratulations. All right. Let me tuck mine away. Pull this one out. That's just so pretty. And then that brings me to autumn kits. And this is already almost an hour, so I'll probably do autumn kits and then save all my Halloween stuff for October and maybe do the same thing. The next kit doesn't have a bag. Oh, come on out. Is autumn is as joyful. This is a stitch along that is starting September 21st, hosted by the Huga Stitcher. 
Autumn is as joyful by Leela Studios. So. And I have, oh goodness me, the called for DMC. And Affogato. I think this is Affogato by, there's a little stitching in it to pull out, um, by um, 36 Count Affogato by Fiber on a Whim again. So that is a kit. Oof. Kerplunk. Another kit that is autumnal that I have is Blackbird Designs, Feast of Friendship. That's so pretty. 36 count vintage country mocha. And the called for. It's like a sampler threads. Look at that burnt orange sampler thread. And the called for colors. And so I just got cut off. I don't know what happened. Um, we'll see where we land in terms of getting this actually edited. <laughs> and that lives in a Simply Norel bag. See if I can splice the two videos together. If not, I'll just upload them separately. Because the first one was over an hour. So, or almost an hour. And then in a Jasmine custom bag, Jasmine custom design bag, I have two. I have Autumn by Lavender and Lace. And she's going to be stitched on Almond Milk by Grace Note Fabrics. Isn't that pretty? Man, that's good. She's got a lot of very beautiful colors. And I'm going with the originals, like the blues. But I also have a fun one. Called Glittering Leaves by Nora Corbett. And this one's being stitched on what is this? Woodland. That's pretty. So <laughs> ah. Next, I have a tone. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. A tone you, a tone you by Satsuma Street. And I'm just stitching this on simple cream. Um, thirty-two count Lugana. With the called for. This is all the called fors for each season colors. All right. Let's see. Two more. This one is Lake House Stitch Company. It's a pretty bag. And this one's actually is called Autumn Bee by the Blue Flower. Isn't that pretty? I really want to stitch this. And I got the dinky dye silks. And look at this. Look at this. What is this? This is French lilac Edinburgh linen. It's going to be good. So that is Autumn B. And last but not least, this is in a uh, project portfolio that Fiber Arts Inc. No, excuse me, um, Fibers and Floss Canada. Erica made me. I have in it Harvest Tiny Town, Halloween Tiny Town, 
and a honey of a tiny town. And what do I have for fabric? Look at all these. <laughs> Ooh. A lot of colors here. What is this fabric? So I have a Wren, Country Vintage Mocha, and Dubloon for the various, I wonder what, I think Wren was going to be for Halloween. I think this one was going to be for the, because uh, it's more golden and warm for the honey. And then just classic for the autumn. So yeah, that is my mess. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Let me see if I can add this five minutes on to the last, last video. Um, but it was good to spend time with you and I look forward to seeing you next time. You guys have a great autumn and I'll see you in October. Bye.